You want a different question? Sure. <laughs> there you go. That one's gone. <laughs> you don't like that one either? <laughs> All right, what do you this want? is like me picking cards at go. home. <laughs> Come on, here we go. <laughs> yeah, throw, throw it away. We're done with that one. Okay, here we go. One Edit. more. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey, everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. We are back with our fabulous friend and my cousin, Chris Call, Prop Master. Let's get buzzed. What is the absolute, beyond a shadow of a doubt, most difficult thing that you have to do in your job? <laughs> Manage people. <laughs> really? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you didn't even uh, think I would say that. I can, I, I can always whip people. a prop in the shape. Yeah, true. You know, yes, but, true. But, yes. you know, personalities and, you know, pe people's emotions. I mean, because we are human beings, you know. And again, we are in a situation which sometimes I liken to war where it's just like, you know, you're just grinding away to get it done. Yeah. And, you know, and because, again, you know, time is money. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not shooting, the money starts yeah. clicking off. Yeah. So, and they don't like that much it's not personal it's no business. and it isn't yeah. you know but it but at the same time it is personal because we are all people mm -hmm. you know and we all and because we work together so closely you become very tight with these people you know so i you know i and i'm not the type of uh manager who micromanages people mm -hmm. and i also don't um and i'm not a tyrant that's just not my nature you know and i know some people that's all they respond to right, right. you know but i've Built most of my career on working with people I call my friends. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And it's like that camaraderie that that yeah. gets us through. Because right. again, it's long hours, you know. And I spend more time with my crew than I do my family sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like you want to get along with them and you want everybody to get along as well. So um you have to be able to um to accept people and and work with them and still get the job done. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes that's difficult because everybody has things going on in their life. Exactly. And all, yeah. You know? yeah. 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 So, and what yeah. is, sometimes and what is on the flip side of that, of the most difficult thing, what is just the best part about what it, what you do? Well, the best part about besides it. Besides the cash. And Amazon. The, besides the, 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 tr the truck, the cash truck coming cash to your house and just truck. dumping right. loads of cash Jeff on your lawn. Jeff Bezos, man. And Amazon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you have a bromance like my with bro. Jeff Bezos. Yeah. We get that. Okay, that aside. Yeah, I yeah. know. So funny. Um, <laughs> I think the best part of the job is, for me, um, it's a job well done. Okay, mm -hmm. when you when you knock out an amazing prop and everybody's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that, or that you know that really helped me out a yeah. lot as an mm -hmm. actor or whatever. Like for instance, this week, I'm working on this new show for NBC called Untitled Mare Project because I haven't titled, uh, named it yet, but it's Ted Danson's new show mm -hmm. uh, where he plays a, a rich businessman becomes mayor of Los Angeles, and Holly Hunter oh, um, is her. with him. She plays a city councilwoman who's like his nemesis. Um, and uh, we were doing a scene, a big ribbon cutting Wait scene. Wait a minute, I see a new hit on the horizon. <laughs> yes. You're gonna have a job for a long time. I hope so. Let's see. Ooh, the shows that he's on get renewed. <laughs> Hold on, now we're ADDing him away from his story. Yeah. And we're back, back and to you. We're back. Yeah, and so anyway, I'll try to shorten it. But, um, but in the scene, there's this, uh, well, I don't want, I, sh I probably shouldn't give it away too much. But anyway, yeah, don't, there's this don't giant you scissors can't. that worked. Okay. Yeah. Right. But there was a guy who was doing the scissors, was a mascot, and he like runs into the scene with these scissors. Okay. So I had, to, I've had to find these scissors, and I found these great scissors that everybody loved. And then as it happens, you know, three days before we're about to start filming, one of the producers decided he didn't really like them anymore. He wanted them to be bigger. Mm. What? I'm like, okay, so now I have less yeah. time to make it yeah. happen. Fertilizer so, for the scissors. No. So now, so then it becomes a. There is a certain point where you can't even get it on Amazon. Oh. Okay, it's like you can't even get it on Amazon. That's what I'm saying. If you can't get it on Amazon, I don't want it. It doesn't exist. That should be. Oh my God, that should be their slogan. If you can't find it on Amazon, it doesn't exist. We try not to swear on the show, Chris. That's like blasphemy. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, but okay. Yeah. So. So I went to the prop house and found these giant scissors. 
And I showed them to the producer. He's like, yeah, that's the size. Problem was, they're metal. Uh, they're like real. Oh. And the stunt coordinator's like, uh, I don't think so. Because, yeah. you know, this Can't guy's got to come jumping off of a little <laughs> mini trampoline and lands right in front of Ted Danson. I'm mm. like, okay. So yeah. I call my There's manufacturer. There's no waiver big enough for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So I call my manufacturer and, and tell him I need to make these scissors. So they actually, in a day and a half, wow. knocked out not one, but two, of course. Yes. Because one is as good as none. And he was making them out of plexiglass. So if he dropped them and they broke, we'd be done. Right. Yeah. So he made two of them for me. Um, but then he put a, a thin coat of aluminum so they oh, look like scissors them. because the producer's like, they still have to look like scissors. I don't want them to look like toys. Right, right. Yeah. Like, okay, so we had them made. Yeah. I picked them up the morning of the shoot and I brought them to set and the stunt coordinator took one look at him. She goes, those aren't safe either. I'm like, what are you talking about? I said, he, he's just going to hold them. And she's like, no. She goes, I really don't feel good about it. I say, well, I'm not going to be the guy to say, sorry, use the dangerous <laughs> scissors. So yeah. I... So my first AD was there as well. And I said, and this is my, my go-to whenever something happens, which is how much time do I have? Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, a half hour. Mm. I'm like, okay. So I went back to my truck and I had the original scissors that, we, that got rejected yeah. that were too small. And I noticed that the way it was put together, I could take it apart, essentially. Ah. So I took the scissors off and I got some show card, which is basically compressed cardboard. Yeah. And I made the blades longer, longer. longer blades. And I got the scenic to came in and he sprayed, sprayed them silver. Wow. And we put the whole thing together and I ran it to set just as they were doing last touches on Ted and handed it to them. And see, and they you said, ran with them and you were fine. And I, see? <laughs> First of all, I <laughs> <laughs> but they were the safe scissors. Exactly. But I can't even believe that you would That's be that amazing. creative to make that happen. That's it amazing. was amazing. And it was such a great. Uh, I'm going to go great... into an escape room with you because right? are you great at those? You'd be like, I should. Mm, I've always it. wanted to do it, but I haven't done yeah. it. My son has done it. Was there any <clears throat> advice that you got in your life at some point that you think has helped you along the way in, the, in your career? Wow. Um, yes. Here is a good one. Back in the day on Alias, mm -hmm. we, in the, I think it was the first season of Alias, and we had done a couple of episodes. And in one of the episodes, we did a fight scene where somebody took a fire extinguisher and hit somebody over the head with it. So we, had, of course, had to make a rubber fire extinguisher, right. and we did. Episode two or three comes along. It was not that far later. And there was another fight scene. And again, it was another fire extinguisher. Hmm. And so I went to JJ's office and I said, you know, JJ, I, you know, I don't, we're, we're doing a, another fire extinguisher <laughs> again. Why, you know, it seems like we shouldn't do another fire extinguisher. He goes, well, what's your idea then? What, what should we, you know, what do you think we should do? And I didn't have an answer. Ah. And he said, you know, when you come, when you shoot some, an idea down, and I'm not saying this verbatim, he was much kinder about it because right. he was a very kind man. Yeah. Yeah. He said, if you're going to shoot somebody's idea down, make sure you have another idea. To come mm. to the table with, I was like, eh. "You that was a big, that was a nice yeah. lesson." Yeah, it was. Yeah. and it's true, and it's very true. Yeah, Absolutely. have, a, have yeah. a solution. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Well, no, because it, it is very easy. I'm to... surprised you didn't say something like a bottle, <laughs> a pair of scissors. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. a I got some rack. scissors in the truck. Scissors. I know someday I'm going to do a pair of scissors. In a few years, I'll have some uh, scissors for you. Um, yeah. No, that is really good because it is, you know, and we find this too being on the internet, you know, people are like, you know, you should do this. And, and right. they're very easy, you know, we see it all over social. People have so many ideas that of what they think you should do, but they exactly. don't have anything that's productive exactly. or constructive. And my other quote that I like a lot is, um, mediocrity always criticizes excellence. Oh, isn't that the truth? That's great. Right. That is the truth. Yeah. That's and I also really like good. one that's close to that, which is those that say it can't be done are usually interrupted by those doing it. Yes. Mm. Nice. And I love that one mm -hmm. so much, too. Absolutely. Don't um, lower your expectations hey, for those who refuse to raise theirs. Hey, Chris, I have hey, a question for what? you. What? Hey, Stacy, I, I think I'm going to ask Chris a question struggling. now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? You. <laughs> Don't step on me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I do okay, that to you all ahead. the time. Um, <laughs> is there is there a, a uh, 
an agent for what you do or a representation of any sort? Well, we are covered by a union, the a union. IATSE, yes, okay. which covers all of the workers in, in the uh, industry that are union. Um, they represent us as far as wages and stuff mm, like that go. Right. But as far as finding work, we're all on our own. Wow. Yeah, there are no agents. For I products. cannot believe that there isn't an agent out there. Yeah, somebody um, wants to rep right? that will reach out to 300,000 no, prop guys. 300. 300,000 <laughs> 300, if you start. include worldwide. <laughs> right. This is how or, rumors start, Chuck. <laughs> There's a lot of money to be made out there, ladies 300, and gentlemen. 300, 300,000. Um, uh, like yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Watch, he's going to become the first one. That's like, right. So, Chuck, uh, yeah. I'm now an agent that's of this. But, I mean, you, so you have to hustle. I mean, like, do you ever, yeah, I yes. mean, you have to stay at the top of your game. You have to, How? I mean, how do that, you do that? Well, uh, again, do I mean. Do you like that part of it? I don't. I'm yeah. not. I'm, <laughs> he hates The it. business part of the business is not my forte at all. In fact, you know, we as a as a department, as a part part, we have to manage all of our own accounting as well for our department, mm. and that is so not wow. my forte. So, I have a, a a great friend of mine, Laura Eiler, who's been with me for twelve years or something like that now. She not only does she support me in all the creative ways, but she does all of the bookkeeping too. Because mm -hmm. I tell producers, I'm like, you do not want me doing <laughs> paperwork, yeah. really. And, yeah. and it also just takes me away from doing, of course, yeah. being the yeah. Art yeah. part of it. So, um, so yeah, I don't really uh, like that part of it. I mean, I've learned over the years to be able to negotiate my rate mm -hmm. in my rentals more than I used to, mm -hmm. I mean, but uh, I that would be the worst part. I would sweat that out because I was never good at that. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But as far as like finding work, I've been, again, I've been very blessed that I've been in LA for 24 years, I guess it is now. I started my career in the secondary market. So anybody out there who's think that mm -hmm. you have to be in LA, I started in Pit uh, first in Dallas and then in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, for seven years before I came to Los Angeles. But once I hit LA, I never stopped working. Yeah. Except for the writer's strike was, uh, right. and then last year for some unexplained reason, I was unemployed for five months right after the movie. Mm. That's because the pilot season never really transformed. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. transpired last season. and I, Which was probably a and, really nice vacation for you. Well, it was A sweaty vacation. Because we were supposed yeah. to travel to Italy. We had to end up, ah. Yeah. Uh, canceling all those plans. But because, again, this is the point, is, is that never in my career have I ever turned down work. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so, you know, because it's like that bird in the hand mm -hmm. for the one in the bush. I mean, there's plenty of times where I've taken a show and then I got an offer to do something else. Like, oh, well, I'm already on this one. But yeah. So this was the first time that last year where I, I was like, hey, I just did this big movie. I don't have to do the mm. Kaminsky method. Uh, bad choice. Um, <laughs> Right, <laughs> right, yeah, and uh, and so I I passed on it, and then I think I passed on one other thing, and I was like, see that I, I I'm I'm you know I'm doing good for myself. I'm not taking, and then I was unemployed. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So my lesson there was not to turn down any other work. So yeah. yeah. The hard part about it is, as we all know, you can't really plan your life too much. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. my 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 family um, back east. They don't count on me for anything because it's like, yeah, sure, I'd love to come home for a Thanksgiving, well, you but book I don't the plane know. Ticket and then yeah, and then I have a solution. They can come see you. They have good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that either. Planes fly west. They, they do fly they, west. Yes. It's funny how that happens. Um, so, what do you think have been the keys to your longevity and your success? Um, well, perseverance and um, striving for excellence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you're a really good guy. I try to be. That's, yeah. Like you're really, you're I try just to be like because, really easy to be around. Well, you know, again, I, I'm an easygoing guy by nature. So um, for the most part, my wife can mm -hmm. attest to the parts where I'm not easy going. Because <laughs> there Let's is. talk about those parts real yes, quick. Yes, well, no. again, we you know, with being, you know, yeah. somebody who uh, can be somewhat anal retentive sometimes or, uh, or controlling, as yeah. it were, um, I, I, I'm, you know. Every every front has a back. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, but when I'm at work, I try to put my best foot forward all the time because you know people judge you by that. You know, yeah. and and you know, and again, people want to work with people who are easy to work with. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are plenty of great actors, uh, ones I won't name, that 
are don't work anymore because people just can't stand to work with them yeah. anymore because yeah. of their attitude. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, LA is a small town. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, a it's a big small town. Yeah, yeah, and and it's and again it's uh it's too important. You mm -hmm. know, we work too closely together f to work with people who aren't easy to work with. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I I just find it easier to find a way you know, mm -hmm. like, cool, because man. there's always something in somebody that you don't like, but I always try to right. focus on the thing that I do like. Right. Yeah. And then right. that helps me to get right. as little as well, it may be. Yeah. As little as yeah. it may be. Sometimes <laughs> it's, it's really small. It's hard as it may be to find that thing. You're that so you patient like. with us imperfect people. <laughs> yes. No, but I think too, if everyone's goal is the same and it's not about sure. you it's everyone has one common goal it's right you can find a way to make it work. yeah and if you and trying to take your ego out of it yeah. all the time that's kind of the other thing i try to do let's do a let's put them on the hot seat okay this sure bring it question. we're gonna put chris uh I've in the hot seat with a mystery question <laughs> not even now. we know what this See question that? is in Proc. fact we don't even know the answer to this question i may not either <laughs> <laughs> um pick a card any card Oh, okay. mm -hmm. From my prop. Read it in a character read voice. Read it in your You're favorite. Read it voice. It's going to be a voice actor yeah. right uh -oh, now. Read it you in your favorite. In a, read it in like a wacky character voice. Put it on voice. my rubber, mate. Wait. <laughs> there you go. That's an, an old radio <laughs> announcer. Come on. This is a voiceover show. We got to do some voiceover. Read it as Terry Crews. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> do, you, do, do you imitate It would, it would just be very loud. When Nick, yeah, exactly. Because he likes to very speak very loud. loud Can you smiling. imitate Fred Flintstone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Just you could read it in your own voice, I guess. Hey, boo -boo. No, I was thinking Yogi Bear. All right. Do you have a surrogate mother or father figure? Oh. Hmm. You want a different question? Sure, can we? <laughs> there you go. That one's gone. Back, back to the assistant. We, know the we can do this all night, what by the way. Well, until you get a, a good one. That's okay. Oh, do you want to be a surrogate All right, mother? different character no. voice okay. this time. Come Here on. You go. Okay. <laughs> that one was sounded a lot like you. You don't like that one either? <laughs> I don't even want to This is it. like me picking cards at go. home, you know. <laughs> by the it's way. Like, that's not what the by universe the way, is trying so to tell me. By the way, he's so analytical that this is going to take through the whole pile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Until he finds this one question. Like Get us back, playing everybody. Cards against We're going to be here All for right, a minute. All right, come on. You got oh, one God. more. Here, what pushes your buttons? Look, cards that are really, you know, <laughs> what pushes my buttons? Should we ask the family? <laughs> no. I'm sure they will tell you. Um, They're like, well, hmm. What pushes so many my things. <laughs> um, What's one thing you really like, just pet peeve? Besides Ooh. the fake eyes. Well, you know, oh, God. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Yeah, throw, throw it away. <laughs> We're done with that one. Okay, here we go. One Edit. more. <laughs> right, I think like, this, one be, this one might be the winner. The we have What's another... the craziest thing you've done this year? There we go. <laughs> turn down work. He's like, yeah. wait, wait a minute. That's exactly. Yeah. The craziest thing I've done down this year is turn down work. We already that was went last year. through that. Come on. Um, oh, my Do Lord. It. <laughs> am I, am I, can I get the record for the most cards? Yes, you, you've already done it. I have already done it. Oh, you already right. Right. Here we go. You're, you're. What was the last big risk you took picking a card? <laughs> <laughs> picking a card. <laughs> wow. Oh. Have you taken a risk any time in the past uh, 27 know. years? Okay, you know what? Wow. Until I get what I want or a restraining order, I keep going. Let's try a different oh. prop. Oh, here there we go. We go. It's Do the it. Wrong this is going to be, oh, right, this, this is good. Is You're going to like this You're one. You're going to like this one. These are the safe scissors. Do it. Why did your ancestors immigrate to America? Why? <laughs> That is a good question. Why do you think they did Can that? Can you answer? He's like, my, I have no idea. My, let me call my grandmother. Okay, oh, she's one dead. One more card. <laughs> this is the last one. I can't breathe. One more. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, you pick it for me. How about that? Okay. Oh. And I'm going to make it up. There. <laughs> okay. What do you love most about your wife? <laughs> no, wow, okay, that's I not could the talk question. about that what? all night. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. We could too. I made up a good, easy question for him. Fantastic, your wife. Mm -hmm. um, what's the last thing you bought that you really didn't need? And I will add <laughs> from Amazon. Something from Amazon. <laughs> Something from Amazon. <laughs> Well, that's funny because now what was it? Was it a fan? The last thing I didn't need. A blender? What did you buy that you didn't need? Not for a show, for you. Socks you with holes You know what it was? In them. Socks it was with a, guitars on it. It was a it. vinyl that I oh. already owned because I'm 
too brain dead to remember what vinyl I already have. Oh. So I'm always going to like Amoeba. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to get Sound that. of Silence. So you have and a I come home and I go to put it, file it in. I'm like, oh, I already have it. I already it. have it. <laughs> oh, that's How so. do you file it? Alphabetically? I do by, file alphabetically. I have one section that's all alphabetical, and then I have another section that's by, you know, jazz or yeah. by genre. If by you genre. had to run out yeah. of the house and grab three vinyl, which would it be? Wow. Joni Mitchell Blue. Nice. Okay. Um, my Lambert, Hendrix, and Ross. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. That's obscure, but it's a great it album. Mm -hmm. And, uh, whew, it's a third one. I don't know. Casey and the Sunshine Band? No. <laughs> Bee Gees? <laughs> Get down tonight? M rock Sugar. Uh, rock oh! Sugar! Yeah! Well, now there you that go. is the answer. 20 bucks in the pocket. Yes, very good. Um, and we know why Chris Call have... is very successful uh, in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> he says he what you need to hear. He knows to say what oh to say, goodness. how to say. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with our awesome friend, Chris Call over here. And we hope you guys enjoyed it. I learned a lot. I hope you guys did too. We're going to see you next week with a whole brand new VO Buzz Weekly. Yes. You guys follow us on social while I put the cards away. And uh, thanks so much for watching. We love you. And just remember, you, you always, always have time for a little buzz. buzz. That's right, Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Call. Should I do? All right, one more time. Chris Call here. I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And uh, wait, no, it's one more time. Chris Call here. I'm Prop Master. And I just got buzzed with Chris and Stacy. Chris and Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. go. Okay. Chris Call here, Prop Master, just got buzzed by Chuck and Stacy, or with Chuck and Stacy. I keep doing that. It's okay, we by can buzz. With, with, I uh, hate that. Can I get some cue it. cards? Uh, what the hell? Where's the prop guy with the cue card? Hi. Okay. Okay. Chris Call here, Property Master, just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And uh, remember, excellence every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Chris Call here. I just got buzzed with. Chuck and Stacy, and remember, if you're gonna have a better idea, don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna, <laughs> then criticize I, it first. I, so, I, I, I just hate what this. What Chris meant to Hell. say is, if you're going to criticize, make sure you have a better idea. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's demos that rock. rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosvetrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.